good evening students now i hope all of you remember that in our last class we have completed vectors in that chapter only we are discussing today we are to discuss the motion in a plane our discussion today is regarding the motion in a plane in this context here our discussion is motion of an object with an uniform acceleration obviously the object is moving in a plane with the uniform acceleration suppose an object is moving in a plane with the uniform acceleration i first try to explain the situation this is a plane it's an xy plane very clear this is the origin here is the uh, first position vector means position vector of this uh, object's first position is at a and then the position is at b we are taking at the instant of time t is equal to 0 it's a at the instant of time t is equal to t it's b where their position vectors are r not vector and r vector respectively r not vector and r vector okay r not vector and r vector these two are actually the position vectors i tell you these two are the position vectors here so i can i can write it in this way look so i can write it in this way that r not vector and r vector are the position position vectors at a and b respectively at a and b respectively look these are the position vectors a and b respectively what will happen suppose if the object is moving with the uniform acceleration suppose i consider that the object is moving with the uniform acceleration then what will happen object is moving with the uniform acceleration at that stage what will happen a vector is the acceleration initial velocity is the v, v, is the v vector is equal to u vector and after that final is v vector is equal to v vector so what we can say we have we have v vector is equal to u vector plus a vector into t look what we are writing we are writing v vector is equal to u vector plus a vector into t v vector is equal to u vector plus a vector into t okay i can write it in this way then what we will have we can resolve it into the two dimensions v x i plus v y j you go to the resolution of vectors then it is equal to u x i plus u y j together plus a x i plus a y j into t could you understand i hope no problem should be there i have resolved these vectors into their dimensions in two dimensions then x component and y component now equating equating coefficients coefficients of i cap and j cap from from both sides look and i cap and j cap i am resolving i am equating the coefficients of i cap and j cap from both sides how much we can get vx is equal to ux plus ax into t and vy is equal to uy plus ay into t i write this as a this as b and this together as equation 1 i hope you understand it has been written as one is 
well, vx is equal to ux plus ax into t that is 1a and upper one is 1a lower one is 1b. I have get, got one set of equation. Fine. Now what will happen? Now we can write by triangle law by triangle law obviously triangle law of vector addition triangle law of vector addition what we can write we can write here r naught vector plus plus a b vector should be r vector i hope it's all right r naught vector plus a b vector is equal to r vector now what is r vector is equal to r naught vector plus what is a b vector a b vector can i write v vector u vector plus v vector okay divided by 2 that is the average i can write here v average vector into t into t means i am taking it is not the uniform motion it is a uniformly accelerated motion what we are taking in the local average velocity v average vector into t that means how much it will be r naught vector plus v average vector ko kya likhunga main isko likhunga u vector plus plus v vector divided by 2 into t that is the average now in place of v vector from here i can write r naught vector plus यहां पर मैं लिखता हूं u वेक्टर प्लस u वेक्टर प्लस a वेक्टर इनटू t बाय 2 इनटू t सो so, r वेक्टर इक्वल r नॉट वेक्टर प्लस u वेक्टर प्लस a वेक्टर इनटू t बाय 2 इनटू t आई होप ऑल द स्टेप्स आर बिकमिंग वेरी क्लियर जस्ट वी आर getting the steps in this way no problem or we can say r vector is equal to r naught vector plus u vector into t plus half a vector into t square okay again we are resolving this into two dimensions suppose r vector if r vector can be resolved ये r वेक्टर को मैं रिजॉल्व करता हूं x और y में और r नॉट वेक्टर को x नॉट एंड y नॉट में ठीक है इफ रिजॉल्व कंपोनेंट्स इफ रिजॉल्व कंपोनेंट्स यू कैन राइट इफ द रिजॉल्व कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ r वेक्टर आर x एंड y देन व्हाट वी हैव x i plus y j इज इक्वल टू r नॉट वेक्टर का अगर x नॉट एंड y नॉट है तब क्या होगा x नॉट i plus y not j plus u x i plus u y j into t plus half a x i plus a y j into t square देख जितने vector quantities थे उनको मैंने x और y components में resolve कर दिया बड़ा simple j है मैंने जितने भी कंपोनेंट्स थे मैंने उनको x और y कंपोनेंट्स में रिजॉल्व कर दिया ठीक है एक बार फिर से हम लोग इक्वेटिंग द कोएफिशिएंट्स ऑफ ये वाला एक बार फिर से इक्वेटिंग द कोएफिशिएंट्स ऑफ i कैप एंड j कैप फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स इधर और इधर दोनों साइड से i कैप और j कैप के ओके कोएफिशिएंट्स को जरा इक्वेट कर दें तो i कैप के साथ क्या-क्या है x x नॉट प्लस u x plus half a x into t square and y is equal to y naught plus u y plus half a y into t square. I write this as a, this as b and this as equation number. Look, it is equation number 2. It is a, another set of equation first one is 2a and second one is 2b look just have a look on this it's very clear what i have done i hope there should not be any question there should not be any problem in this way we have 
established two sets of equations equation one and equation two the first set second set I have established these two sets of equations fine I have, set, I have established these two sets of equations okay now our next discussions will be based on these two sets of equations I hope dear students all of you have understood it properly there should not be any problem you should not have any problem so this is regarding the motion of a motion of an object with the uniform acceleration okay now we shall proceed to the next topic